The event that happened in Chamoli today is one of the very threatening events and that is due to environmental issues and we call it in the name of GLOV. Now whenever we talk about GLOV, what is very very important to understand under glacial lake outburst flood is how the lakes that are made by glacier actually are not sustainable when there is severe uh, earthquakes or avalanches that occur or atmospheric pollution that increases and finally this leads to the outburst flow and the downstream regions are significantly affected by it so how it all happens let's have a quick understanding of it so what actually is glacier glacier is nothing but a moving mass of ice now as this mass of ice consider this to be a mass of ice now as this mass moves forward what would happen it would deposit the moraines now what are moraines moraines are nothing but the sediment that this glacier carries around along with itself so when when the glacier is moving all the depositions on the side or the surfaces through which it is moving are eroded now these eroded particles move along with the glacier as the glacier moves what happens is these boulders are deposited on the surrounding areas and they create a natural barrier or i would say a natural dam and this is where you have the glacial lake now how this glacial lake is formed i repeat again the glacier moves forward as it moves forward it leaves behind the big boulders the sediments the moraines what uh, the the particles that we call as moraines or towards the surface now the glacier would move forward and what would happen is there would be a temp uh, there would be a kind of embankments that would be created or a little a uh, kind of dams that would be created and these would be the regions where glacial lakes are formed so this is the region where water is stored as glacial lake now what would happen this is a boundary so this is the moraine boundary which is that is naturally created this once it breaks this glacial water would flow now as the glacial water flows it moves into the downstream regions and the villages in the lower areas are witnessing severe floods there could be flash flood conditions because of the breaking of the moraines now how this glob event actually occurs is again interesting as i mentioned there could be an earthquake there could be an avalanche because of which this glob event occurs we have covered the class on glob separately this is a snapshot from that section itself so you can visit that lecture for more details now what happens is sometimes due to higher atmospheric pollution there is black carbon which deposits so on the glacier you would have deposition of black carbon as a deposition of black carbon increases the amount of insulation from the sun the solar radiations that are incoming from the sun increases and this glacier starts to melt at a faster pace so the rate of melting increases now as the rate of melting increases there is more probability of higher flash floods another reasons attributed to it are deforestation human activities increasing roads increasing infrastructure facilities in the higher altitude so all those are responsible for glob events now coming forward to the region of ganga where the glob event actually happened today now this glob region that actually happened today has been really really significant and important why because there has been a significant uh, aspect where we are trying to understand that most of the areas have been affected by it the recent event of chamoli has been witnessed where has been witnessed in the region of dhauli ganga river now let's understand the physiography of ganga first to understand the region of dhauli ganga and the glaciers that surround ganga river is formed by two major river systems what are those alaknanda and bhagirathi now alaknanda and bhagirathi are of course the two well known rivers and these meet at a region which is known as devprayag so the region where bhagirathi 
meets with alaknanda is nothing but the region of dev prayag wherever two river systems meet in the ganga river system we call we have a suffix as prayag so the region where bhagirathi meets with alaknanda is the region of dev prayag now what would happen before the alaknanda sorry alaknanda meets with bhagirathi it's the region of dev prayag now before the alaknanda meets with bhagirathi there are series of numerous rivers that join with alaknanda the origin of alaknanda is attributed to badrinath glacier now when alaknanda originates from badrinath glacier it joins with dholi ganga the region where it joins with dholi ganga is the region of vishnu prayag following that alaknanda joins with another major river system which is pindar ganga the region where pindar ganga joins with alaknanda is karnaprayag further moving down it joins with kali ganga or mandakini kali ganga originates the name starts with k and therefore the glacier name starts with k so it originates from kedarnath glacier the uh, the kali ganga originating from kedarnath glacier joins with the ganga river system uh, the alaknanda river at a point which is known as rudraprayag and then we have the bhagirathi river that joins with the alaknanda and this is the region of devprayag now bhagirathi originates from gangotri alaknanda originates from badrinath and then finally there is yamuna which joins from the yamunotri and joins the ganga river later but that is further down the stream and uh, far away so if we focus on just the origin systems of the two major river the bhagirathi and the alaknanda we will see a series of glacier that are seen in that region gangotri kedarnath badrinath are few of the major glaciers now dholi ganga is the river that has been affected in the glof event that happened today now how this is important uh, let's move to the region where we have the significant development that has been seen and that is the region of tapovan tapovan is the low lying region of the uttarakhand uh, state of india now this is the region which has been worst affected by the flash floods that have happened in the today's event now if you see the, there is the ganga river flowing in the vicinity of tapovan and tapovan is one of the major uh, centers we move from tapovan to another important location and that is the chamoli now chamoli is the region as you can see in the map here this is the region where you have the glacial activity that was on its peak however the glacial uh, lake outburst was seen in the region of joshi mat now joshi mat is the region where there were glacial a uh, fragmentation that occurred now as we saw in the very beginning the glof event can be attributed to numerous reasons fragmentation of glacier is again one of the major reasons what would happen there is a big glacier if the glacier fragments it breaks into smaller glaciers what would ultimately be the result there would be smaller size of glaciers increasing the surface area increasing the exposure to sun and The, when the insulation and the amount of uh, solar radiations on smaller glaciers increases the rate of melting is further enhanced so it's a kind of vicious cycle so if there is a kind of um, melting activity that starts or that initiates it could lead to a series of events that could follow up in the coming years or decades and therefore there could be a point where tipping point could be reached this is something that we have already discussed in our class on amazon rainforest and the burning or the destruction of the amazon rainforest as it as it occurs so dholi ganga which is one of the uh, uppermost glaciers as we could see Uh, dholi ganga is one of the major river systems that join alaknanda 
towards the very north if the glaciers at the region of dhauli ganga starts to fragment the glaciers which are present at the lower altitude would definitely be affected and the amount and the volume of water being carried in the lower levels would be further enhanced so that is again a very very important concern now this is the place joshi mat where Uh, in the chamoli district of uttarakhand where the event actually occurred closer to the dhauli ganga river now the dhauli ganga river flows through this whole area as you can see you have the hari parvat here and the dhauli ganga so this is the path of the dhauli ganga river and as the dhauli ganga river flows closer to the joshi mat there was a a uh, glof event that happened and that glof event significantly affected the region now what would happen once the glof movement starts to trigger it would increase the volume in the lower low lying areas so there would be immediate possibilities of floods and therefore Uh, the lower areas would be significantly affected now nanda prayag lies in the lower regions and nanda prayag is the town where uh, the water levels have been significantly controlled as of now and this has led to a significant development in checking the extremities of the flash floods that could be seen in those regions so if we zoom in the map you can see the region of nanda prayag here and this is the region downside from joshi mat so you can see the distance from joshi mat to nanda prayag and this whole distance is the distance that the flash flash floods have been moving through and finally in the region of nanda prayag the control has been seen as of now further moving into uh, the major systems we have the region of bhagirathi river now bhagirathi river flow has been uh, controlled significantly and there have been two major dams that have been emptied on priority one of those is the shrinagar dam and the other is the rishikesh dam so these two dams have been the uh, emptied by the disaster rescue operation teams the state disaster relief team the sdrf and the ndrf team in order that the excess water that flows through should be captured in those dams to avoid any damage to the further low lying areas and therefore the role of shrinagar dam and the role of ndrf and sdrf team has been significant in curbing the flow of the river similarly as we said the flow of the bhagirathi river and the major alaknanda river following the dhauli ganga the the main alaknanda where the dhauli ganga joins with alaknanda has been controlled and this control is very very important there is another important project which is at rishi ganga and this is the project where a power plant project has been working on and more than 150 people have been so far missing uh, there have been severe casualties at the power plant production center at rishi ganga so rishi ganga power plant production is the region which has been significantly affected now as you can see in this region there have been series of glaciers that are seen now if one glacier starts to fragment definitely it would increase the flow of water and it would affect the glaciers in the lower areas and the lower vicinities also once the level of water uh, recedes from the glacier the summer months would face extreme issues because the amount of water would be significantly reduced as glaciers are one of the uh, perennial sources of water in the river systems so these glaciers have been a very very important concern in the recent uh, re recent periods and any issues or any uh, we could say damage to these glacier systems would definitely impact the geography and the environment of the uh, regions which surround uh, this area so uttarakhand we have witnessed similar events in sikkim last year so these are some of the states that have been worst hit one of the major reasons as we can see in uttar current this year is a huge scale infrastructure projects that have been going on uh, construction and development of numerous projects despite the approval there have been untimely approval for the infrastructure projects to start and this has led to sudden imbalance uh, sudden 
uncertain imbalance in the environmental settings of the region so uh, a glove is very very important topic for your upcoming examination we would be covering many more important topics in the upcoming sessions so stay tuned have a wonderful day